How are you doing, math learners? This is your free access math teacher, Ash, and welcome to ML with Sir Ash. For today's lesson, we're going to discuss how to transform general form known as ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to y to the vertex form y is equal to a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. These are the two different forms of quadratic functions. So how to do this general to vertex and vertex to general? If you don't know, then finish this video and I'll teach you how. But before anything else, hit that subscribe button and notification bell for you to be updated of these cool clear math videos just like this. Hello math learners! Welcome to another session here in Math Learning with Sir Ash. Today, we're going to discuss the most essential learning competency-based lesson for quarter 1, week 6 of the grade 9 mathematics, which is all about how to transform vertex form to general form or general form to vertex form of a quadratic function. Now, remember in our previous discussion that the general form has the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to y, while the vertex form has the form y is equal to a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. We have here our first example, y is equal to 2 times the quantity x minus 3 squared plus k. Of course, this is a vertex form because we have our a, our h, and our k. Okay. Now, what we will do here is we will transform it to general form. Basically, math learners, it is very easy for you to transform vertex form to general form. Why? Because what you do here is simple. First is you expand your expression in the quantity. This is the one. Okay. So, by doing so, we have 2 times x minus 3 times x minus 3 plus 4. So that is what it means, x minus 3 squared. Okay. Now, by in simplifying this, we just need to apply the FOIL method. So by doing so, we have x squared minus 3x minus 3x plus 9 plus 4. So this one has been expanded to this expression. We just copy the plus 4 and the a outside. Okay. Then, we simplify even further. So, we have 2x squared. Since these are common terms, so we combine them. That is negative 6x because negative 3x minus 3x is negative 6x plus 9 plus 4. Next, you do here is you distribute your value of a to your expanded form. So, 2 times x squared, that is 2x squared. 2 times negative 6, that is negative 12x. 2 times 9, that is 18 plus 4. And then, you simplify even further because 18 and 4 are common terms. So, we have 2x squared minus 12x plus 18 plus 4, that is 22. So, this will be your standard form. Easy, right? Now, let us consider another example. Okay, math learners, as you can see, we have here y is equal to the quantity x minus 5 over 2 squared plus 11. Question is, how do you transform this into a standard form? Okay, so what we'll do here is first you expand. So that is y is equal to x minus 5 over 2 or 5 halves times x minus 5 halves plus 11. And then you apply the FOIL method. That is x times x, x squared. x times negative 5 over 2, that is 5 over 2x. And then, negative 5 over 2 times x, that is negative 5 over 2x, okay? And then, negative 5 over 2 times negative 5 over 2, that is positive 
25 over 4 plus 11. Okay. And then we simplify x squared negative 5 times, oh, sorry, negative 5 over 2 minus negative 5 over 2 because they are both um, terms with an x. So that gives us negative 10 over 2x. And then we have here 25 over 4. Since 25 over 4 is the similar fractions to your 11, so what you do here is you also get the equivalent of this 11. So by just doing the LCD, this will become 44. Because 4 divided by 1, which is the denominator of 11, is 4 times 11, that is 44. And if you simplify 44 over 4, that is 11. Okay. So we simplify again. We have x squared. Negative 10 over 2 can be simplified to negative 5x. Okay. And then 25 plus 44, that will give us 69 over 4. And we just put our y. Okay. So can we simplify 69 over 4? Okay, so 69 is not divisible by 4, so therefore, that is our final answer. Now, remember also, my dear math learners, that in our general form, the ending is equal to y. My ending here is y is equal. Basically, the property of equality about symmetry, you can put equals y here, or you can also put x squared minus 5x plus 69 over 4 equals y. That is the same concept as 5 plus 2 is equal to 7, and 7 is just equal to 5 plus 2. Easy, right? So this is how you transform vertex form to general form. Now, let us talk about how to transform general form to the vertex form. Okay, math learners, we are here in our second part of our discussion transforming general form to vertex form. We have here 3x squared minus 12x plus 16 is equal to y. Now, as you can see, this is a general form because we have a, b, c, and our y. Okay, so what do we do first in this kind of scenario? In order for us to arrive to our vertex form, which is y is equal to a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. Now, in order for you to be good in this competency, you need to have a strong foundation about completing the square, which is the third method in solving quadratic equations. Now, how do we complete the square? Okay, so, so what do we do here is first, we just need to use our symmetrical property of equality, and that is y is equal to 3x squared minus 12x plus 16 so that it can be the same as this one okay next is what you do you will group the first two terms group the first two terms so that is 3x squared minus 12x plus 16 okay so i group them and then you extract the value of a okay so since this is our a here is 3 what do we do here is we extract 3 to this group. So that will become x squared. Of course, since that is a group, if you extract 3 here, this will also be extracted with 3. When I say extracted, we are dividing. Okay? So 3 divided by 3, that is 3. So leaving us x squared. 12 divided by 3, that is 4. So that is minus 4x plus 16. Now, next here is we will complete the square in this matter. Okay? We will complete the square. If you could still remember in completing the square, what do we do is we get half of b, then squared it. Okay? We get the half of b, then squared it. Okay? So, how do we do that? That is x squared minus 4x plus, okay, plus half of b, half of 4 is 2. Okay, and then square the answer. So, 2 squared is 4. Okay, of course, for us to have a balance equation, we added 4 here 
and this is in the right side of the equation, so we will also subtract. Okay, we will also subtract. What is the number to be subtracted? This is not 4. Why? Because there is 3. 3 times 4, that is 12. Okay, I'm sure you are quite confused on that matter. If we don't have any A here, whatever you add here will also be subtracted to the other side. Okay? But since we have 3 here, whatever you add here, that will first be multiplied to this one, and the result will be the one to be subtracted on the last part of your equation. Now, the question is, why are we adding and subtracting? Remember, in completing the square, we add something in the left side, and we also add something in the right side. Whatever we add in the left will also be added in the right side of our equation. But here, our y is already in place with our form in the vertex form, right? So, we will not do anything about our left side. We will just do something about our right side. And since we add something in our right side, in order to balance it, we need also to subtract something in our right side. Okay? So, adding and subtracting. Is it right? Okay, so now let us continue. Since our trinomial here is already a perfect square, what we do here is we factor this one. So, the factor of x squared is x, or the square root of x squared is x, and then the square root of 4 is 2, and then you copy the sign of the middle number, and then you put squared. And then you simplify this one, 16 minus 12, that is positive 4. And this is already your final answer. 3 is your A, 2 is your H, 4 is your K. By just looking at this, your H and K, which is the vertex of your parabola, is positive 2, positive 4. Okay, so whatever sign here will be opposite on your H. If this is plus 2, this will be negative 2. If this is negative 2, this will be positive 2. And whatever your K here will be the same. So the question is, what is the final form? This is our final form. I just give you a bonus um, part for you to know the essence of the vertex form because by just looking at it, you will get your vertex of the parabola. Okay? Easy, right? Now, let us go to another example for this one and then we wrap it up. Okay, math learners, we are now here for our final example in transforming general form to the vertex form. We have here x squared plus 12x plus 32 is equal to y. Okay, so first thing you should do is you arrange it to this one. So I will use the symmetrical property. So that is x squared plus 12x plus 32. Okay. And then I will group the first two terms. So that is x squared plus 12x plus 32. Since my a here is 1, I don't have anything to extract because it is understood that it is 1. Okay. So right now, what I will do is I just need to complete the square of this given binomial. Okay. So remember in getting the square, you get half of b then squared. Half of 12 is 6 and the, six, and the square of 6 is 36. So since we add 36 here, of course, we will also subtract 36 there. Unlike earlier, the value here was multiplied outside before putting it to the subtraction part. However, here, we don't have any a or our a is equal to 1. So, therefore, what we do is whatever value we add, it's the same value that we put in the subtraction or we subtract. Okay, next is we factor. So, the square root of x squared is x. The square root of 36 is 6. You copy the sign of the middle term, that is plus, and then you put squared. Okay, so 32 minus 36, that is negative 4. And this is your final form for your vertex, or vertex form. Easy, right? Okay, so I hope you have learned a lot of things and techniques 
on how to transform vertex to general and general to vertex form of a quadratic function. Now, this is the time that I will challenge you whether you have understood our topic and here it is. Okay, math learners, I hope you have a wonderful time about our topic for today's lesson. This is still your free access math teacher, Ash. And always remember, it is fun to learn mathematics if we are together learning. i just like to add, thank you for subscribing and putting a good comments in our comment section. As well as, I hope that this channel could reach more and more students afar. Keep safe, God bless, and thank you very much. Congratulations, math learners, for arriving to this part of the video. If you think that this video have helped you, click that like button. And if you think that this channel can change the way you see mathematics, do not forget to click that subscribe button and notification bell. Thank you.